Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, I will be giving you some screen design tips for MIT App Inventor. First of all, draw all your screens on paper. Keep all your screens super simple. Keep the labels and the text on buttons super simple too and easy to understand. Don't make more than 10 screens for an app. Go for virtual screens if you really need more than 10 screens. Virtual screens are faster. A virtual screen is a screen that has more than one full screen layout and you show and hide the layout depending upon the scenario. I have already covered virtual screens in my tutorial for paint app with the color picker screen. But remember that even if you use virtual screens, your app size cannot increase 30 MB. At least that is what the documentation of MIT App Inventor tells at this time. Always start new projects with these basic properties. For screen one, make a line horizontal center and a line vertical should be top. And in case you only have a button, for example, you have this menu screen that has only one button on it, to start a game or start a quiz, then you can make a line vertical center too, okay? Keep the sizing to responsive, okay? Don't change it. And decide on a screen orientation for your app, for example, portrait or landscape, especially if you're using a background image for your app, okay? Use arrangements from layout to put all your small components like buttons and labels for horizontal arrangements, make a line horizontal center, a line vertical center, and the width should be fill parent, okay? And in case of vertical arrangement, okay, the aligned horizontal should be center, a line vertical can be top or center, it depends on how you want your app to look, and the width should be again fill parent. In the case of height, now give the height in the form of percentages. Don't use the entire 100% of the screen, okay? Use between 90 to 95%. So for example, I'm going to make this arrangement 45% and then this arrangement also 45%. Although you can see that some space is left here, but when you will test the app on certain devices, you will see that your buttons might be too low down. If you have some buttons in your lower arrangement, they will be touching the bottom and it will not look good. So it's better to use 90 to 95% of the entire screen height instead of the full 100%. So this is also important that you test your app on more than one device to see how your app looks, okay? Another thing to remember is that give all your components some meaningful name and especially retain the, the type of the component in its name. So for example, this next button is actually a button. So BTN means button, but this answer, I should rename it to answer text or text box, but I should have a way of knowing from the name that what kind of component it is, okay? So that is another important thing that you should remember. Sometimes even when you use the 95% of the screen height, you might have difficulty in seeing the entire screen. So a way to solve it is by choosing tablet in the viewer, okay? So if I use phone size, I don't see my last component but if I choose it to tablet, I can see a bit of it, okay? And, and another thing is that you can also make your screen one scrollable. So if I go down and check this, so now I can see my entire screen. So either make it temporarily scrollable or use tablet size so that you can see all your components. Make all your buttons not too thin and not too narrow, okay? So don't assume that all your end users have delicate fingers, okay? And you need to add spacing. So if I have not added these spacings, these labels, these are spacings. These are empty labels, they don't have anything in them. 
So it's a 2% width and that there's no text in it. So this is just for spacing. Because if I do not use these spacings, all these buttons will be literally touching each other. Okay, and that does not look good. So give some spacing between your buttons, text boxes by using empty labels with no text in them and a 1 to 2% width. Another important thing that when we are using media, again, remember that there's a limit to the size of your app in MIT App Inventor. So do not upload image file size that are huge. Reduce the dimensions, that is height and width of each image so that they are at the size they will be in the app's user interface or maybe a little larger. But don't make it double the screen size, okay? For example, resize your background images for splash screens to be 1080 by 1920 pixels for portrait mode. From splash screens, I mean those cool screens that have this beautiful, colorful background showing, which covers the entire screen. So they should not be more than the size of an Android screen in portrait mode, okay? So resize them, don't make them so big, that is not needed, that will be just wastage of your resources and it will just make your app size too large for no reason. And if the app size becomes larger than 30 MB, it will not build, okay? So you have to optimize your images. Use Paint in Windows or Preview in Mac to resize. Also shorten the length of your music files, your background music files using a free software like Audacity. I will be doing a class on Audacity soon as it is an essential software to have if you're making an app that uses recorded sounds. Also, don't use direct links to public images in your app. For example, don't rely on these Wikipedia links for your images because they might change. Also, rights of image use is very important. So don't use images from sites like Shutterstock unless you have their membership and you have paid. The best thing to do is to use free images from sites like VecTZ where it says free, okay? Just make a credit screen in your app and give these sites proper credit. So if I click on it, it says free download attribution required. And if I click on download, it has been downloaded. Just copy this thing, okay? And make sure that it is in your credit screen for your app, okay? So this is a nice way you will find a lot of free resources, free images and assets here. And last but not the least, when you're using MIT App Inventor, don't open too many other windows in your browser, okay? And to be on the safe side, always make a backup. Although MIT App Inventor is saving your project, but Keep a backup on your computer too by going to projects and choosing export selected project to my computer. So, so the AIA file will be downloaded to your computer. Okay. So I hope you like this video and you learned some cool tips and tricks that I use frequently while making my apps in MIT App Inventor. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so because I have some great projects planned for you. As you already know that I publish free tutorials on coding, app development, and mental math on my channel, and they're detailed and simple to understand. And I try to teach you something cool and exciting in all of my tutorials. So please like and share my video, and thank you for watching it. Have a good day and goodbye.